The European Medicines Agency says AstraZeneca's coronavirus vaccine is safe and highly effective. Well, after a review, the agency concluded that the vaccine was not associated with an overall increase in the risk of blood clots. More than a dozen European countries paused vaccinations with AstraZeneca shot after some recipients developed clots. The EMA said that the benefits of the shot outweighed the risks but added that it would continue to investigate incidents of clotting. Based on the evidence available and after days of in-depth analysis of lab results, clinical reports, autopsy reports and further information from the clinical trials, we still not, cannot rule out definitively a link between these cases and the vaccine. And that was Emma Cook speaking just moments ago. DW correspondent Baron Riegert is on the story. Uh, Baron, the EMA has spoken. Did they provide that much-needed clarity uh, to reassure countries who have suspended the use of the shot that it is indeed safe to use? Well, the verdict was, uh, let's say, crystal clear. The uh, vaccine is safe. Of course, you can never rule out a connection with anything, but there is no evidence that in these cases the clots were caused by the vaccine. So the, um, uh, the EMA said, please continue with vaccination because the benefits uh, far uh, way out uh, the, the risk, or maybe there are no risks at all. We don't know. We will monitor it further. And this is also a normal process. Thus, of course, there are reports about side effects in a vaccination campaign huge as this. They will monitor it and they will uh, draw conclusions, but this is nothing unusual. And Ima Cook said also, if it were me, I would get the shot tomorrow. All right, now AstraZeneca getting again for the second time that go-ahead and endorsement uh, from the EMA. But I wonder, has damage been done? Well, of course, many experts say the, the trust into uh, the vaccine of AstraZeneca and also the vaccination campaign as such might be undermined by many people because there's because of this high drama and the huge public attention to this case. Uh, people may may have some doubts now that to, to be vaccinated by AstraZeneca. But, uh, well, you have also to see the proportions in the EU. AstraZeneca is only 15% of all vaccines administered so far. In other countries, like in the UK, AstraZeneca is much more important. But also the WT, uh, WHO, the World Health Organization, and the UK regulator have said AstraZeneca is safe. Mm -hmm. Please use it uh, furthermore. And Berndt, in conclusion, the EU vaccination program has been beset by problems from the very uh, get-go. Now another wave of infections is washing over the continent. What will EU leaders take away from this incident? Well, the EU says also clearly, although know, the Commission also said that, please keep in mind this is a vaccination campaign against uh, this huge pandemic. So. Uh, we should continue to save people's lives and not focus on possible side effects that may not uh, occur at all or maybe a statistical error. As, and, and also the, the EU expects and the EMA expects now from member states who suspended the vaccination campaign to continue this campaign in the next hours or maybe in the next days. All right, let's find out now. Uh, Bernd Rieger, thank you so very much uh, for that. Um, and I want to find out now if indeed it is going to be full steam uh, ahead after this decision by the EMA, because one of the countries to have paused the use of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine is this country, Germany. And a political correspondent, Thomas Sparrow, is on uh, the beat for you. Uh, Thomas, uh, are we expecting German authorities to lift the suspension ASAP? German authorities, and in particular the German health minister Jens Spahn, had stressed the decision to halt the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine was a precautionary measure until further information was provided, in particular by the EMA. So now that we do have that information from the EMA, it is expected that German authorities will reallow the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We're actually expecting the German health minister Jens Spahn to talk to the press any minute now about whether Germany will reauthorize the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine. And it's important to stress, uh, Leila, that if Germany does reauthorize the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine, that would certainly help Germany in its already very slow 
uh, coronavirus vaccine rollout. Germany actually counts on the AstraZeneca vaccine to not only speed up its vaccination program, but also to fulfill that very important promise that has been reiterated by Chancellor Angela Merkel on various occasions that every German adult will receive an offer of a coronavirus vaccine until the end of the summer, so in around six months. So this decision is particularly important for Germany in order for authorities to be able to fulfill that promise that they have made to all of, all of German citizens and residents here in this country. How bruising has this been for German authorities? Because they have to do quite a climb down now. It was certainly bruising because it raised many questions. It raised questions not only about this timeline that I've been mentioning, it raised questions about the 1.4 million unused AstraZeneca vaccine doses that have already been delivered to Germany but haven't been used. It created questions as well about people who have received already one AstraZeneca vaccine and are actually waiting for the other one, so what to do exactly with them. And as such, this is something that has affected trust. So that's why I also believe that German authorities will focus on trying to rebuild some of that trust. What they have said is that by presenting information, by presenting scientific information, not political information, but scientific facts, they can actually help to rebuild that trust and also speed up the vaccination program. As I said, this is a very important element for Germany because we're talking also of a time here in Germany where infections are going up, where there's concern about the coronavirus pandemic, about the third wave and about the fact that infections are rising exponentially again. Political correspondent Thomas Sparrow reporting. Thank you so much for your coverage.